here I just posted another part to what if Naruto had an unknown oh Jujutsu part 7. Go check it out. Check out the other dude's channel. I'm just going to put it in the description for no reason. But for a reason. Just go watch his videos if you haven't watched it since the last time I posted it was a while ago. And I think I gained like 100 subscribers since then. So yeah, let's get started with this what if. Now let's do it. Recap. I left, left off whenever the stain arc was finished with not Deku defeating Stain, but instead of Nosuke but, um, battling Stain with their similar blades cutting each other. So yeah, everybody's back there. Deku has not learned much from being at Endeavor's energy scene since Endeavor just tried to train him or tried to him try to use him to train the Rokis and all that in the ways of the breath style, which he made up an excuse saying that he can't teach it, which is probably true since if his cork wastes his stamina and his breath style wastes his stamina, Todoroki would be instantly out in one tack, wasting it. But he suggested that he suggested other stuff to him and all that. But all he did was train his seat their world, what Deku did, which cost a lot of stamina to use. So, yeah. But now it's time for the whole thing about racing and getting all my battling. What's going to happen is that the race would end up with, um... I would say Kaminari winning this one since the time in his agency he was training on his ability to use his flash step at a longer range is what he trained for which gave him a slight edge on the race. Amanosuke trained on his physical strength to a point that he can slice through straight metal, like pipes, like those big pipes that are in the race. He sliced through those where he can run straight. And his blade cuts straight through it with his breath style. So yeah, while Deku pretty much focused on pure skills and tactics and his see-through world on his training. But whenever they were expecting that Deku's gonna get first place, against them as usual, but they seen as Kaminari pretty much went farther than Deku while using his Thunderclap Slash ability. So yeah, but he would, Deku would see as they improved a lot in their training compared to him, only being able, learning how to use the see-through world and all that more. So yeah, but it'll be time to face against All Might which would start. Then he would be paired up with Bakugo, and he does not have his metal, his bladed sword. He only has the reverse blade on him. And all that. So we would start with him dashing out, trying to get as far into the middle of the city as possible, or far back of the city as possible to run there really quickly. Since he knows if he uses his flash dance, he should be able to get far away from All Might in a split second. For because for that brief second, he's faster than All Might of flash flash dancing. So yeah, but him and Baku get there, and Baku tells him that he's gonna fight him alone, which he tells him Deku tells him that's a stupid idea. Let's just do it together, which he would disagree. But Deku would just use this, him attacking, and him attacking at the same time as teamwork. He's just letting Bakugo think that he's battling on the own, while he's just gonna attack him from behind. So yeah, first Deku would get ready, dashing towards All Might's back. After Baku is fighting him a little bit, which All Might can 
would see in the corner of his eye. I'm going to go to throw a punch, which Deku would use fake rainbow to dash away. Getting in front of him with his blinding speed. Using, going for a clear blue sky, which all might would block with his arm, which would put a bruise mark across them, breaking off his suit that he was wearing. But all might would throw a punch downwards, causing a sort of tornado to happen, launching them both back up. Which Deku would use this to use a flash dance, then use a sunflower thrust, his fastest execution move. But of course, All Might would dodge it and throw a punch again, sending him further back, which he would land onto a roof, sliding across it. Deku would get ready to use sort of sneak attacks to take down All Might. So he would have. Broke the ground below him in the concrete, and he would be inside the building, which All Might knows. So of course, All Might says that you try and draw me into the building, but you remember that I'm a villain, so I don't care if I destroy a building. Which he'd throw a punch strong enough to uplift the building, and it would send the building into the air, kind of, and it would smash all the rocks which would be flying everywhere, which Deku would be riding on one of them. It's flying towards All Might, so you throw a punch to break it. But Deku would have flash danced to him, using some fire thrust again, which All Might, of course, seen coming, so he'd go to reverse Detroit Smash backwards at him. Or it was a Texas smash, I'm pretty sure. Which would slam into Deku. Side, hitting him against the ground. But of course, All Might would be right on top of him. So he would have used a move called... Um, what was it? Oh yeah, Solar Heat Haze. Which he would disappear from All Might's sight. And he would appear above him using... Getting Sun Transformation, sweeping his sword to knock out, hit All Might in the head. All Might would not be able to dodge this at close range without trying to dodge backwards, which he knows that even at his full speed, Deku's Flash Dance can catch up with him since he goes faster than him in a brief second. So yeah. But, of course, he'd hit by this, but he would grab Deku in the meantime, slam him into the ground. Which he would, Deku would stop himself with his blade. He would, of course, dodge after him, but he would use his flash step or flash dance to speed around and confused All Might. But of course, All Might would wait till he gets in front of him because he knows either he's gonna attack with the Sunflower Thrust or some kind of spinning attack that he knows he can use and all that. So he would throw a punch, which would be fake rainbow as he would thought one one of the categories, and he'd throw a punch behind him. But Deku would have used. A move to counter it, saying Flame Wheel, which would hit All Might's fist and knock his fist back while pushing him backwards. But he would land on his feet. He would get ready for another attack, and he's going to use Raging, Raging Sun, onto All Might, getting up close to him and above him, which All Might. People would see bruises disappear on All Might whenever he slashes towards him. With his suit being broken off of him or ripped off of him by the attacks. While burn, uh, while he's getting burned by his fire. Okay, so he used Raging Sun and it beats up All Might constantly. 
which after that, it would be settled with Bakugo from behind All Might. With throw an explosion coming directly into Deku's face. Deku would pull off the amazing move called... <laughs> I don't know, man. He would have used Flame Dance. And would combo the dude, then countered it with Solar Halo Dragon Dance. Dodging All Might's punches. And hit him with a barrage of attacks. Then Bakugo shoots his, both of his gauntlets. And it will be finished with a call with Deku using a sunflower thrust directly in All Might's head, causing enough rockets to knock him out. And that's how they win, but that's not how they actually win. All Might would get up, throw punches, using more percentage, and pretty much knock them away. And they know that all their efforts were for nothing. And then Deku would flash dance to a block ago, pick him up, and would flash dance. Because in this split moment, he's faster than All Might, and he uses it constantly, he would get away. So yeah, that's how it ends, they escape. But with the good effort of trying to take down All Might. So yeah. That's how that part ends. They would be told about the whole training camp. And they would go. But the training camp is different since it has to be more secure. Just in case if any demons come. And they can like stop them from coming in to the forest. And all that. So yeah. I'll just skip all the way to it. Everybody failed. The whole testing part would still fail. And I would say that Kaminari had was tutored by Deku for this. And Anosuke, not knowing it, but he's a genius in heart. Anosuke passed. I'm just going to say that. But yeah. So, in this training camp, it pretty much will just be sparring for Deku and all three of Kaminari and Hanosuke. And all that, Hanosuke would try to find demons while Deku is fighting in his see-through state, which increases his ability to fight more accurately, so more skill. Yeah, they're pushing their bodies to the limits by constantly using a breast style. Well, that's actually what Kaminari is doing by using flash step like the whole time to get up and down stairs. He's living in flash <laughs> during a clap slash mode, pretty much. And every at the end of the day, he would use his ultimate move that leaves him unable to move. So yeah, but of course, this camp would go by to the end, until it's supposed to be scary times, but people that walk by, they wouldn't be scared of Kaminari would be, and all that, but Deku and Onosuke wouldn't, and Onosuke would try to fight one of them that tries to act like a demon or a ghost, something like that, so yeah. But this is where things would be called on. The villains would come with a band, with something locked up in the cage. Something very tall, muscular. Who could it be? But yeah, instead of just spawning into the forest, they would be in the middle of the area all together with this thing. And all that, and they would find. I'll say this is towards the end, where everybody's back in the center, not in the forest. So yeah. So it would be all class one A, except um, all the others, some of the stronger students. 
I'll just state that. But they would open up the cage and all that with this demon walking out with muscular muscles coming out of it. And yeah, this is muscular's demon form or demon mode or demon demonized muscular. So yeah. Muscular would get ready and he would pretty much dash off and he'd be looking for the forest. Try to kill people there because they're looking for a certain amount of people which he has tagged on them. The person who gave them the ability of demons wants a certain student dead named Deku. So yeah. So muscular or demon muscular, I'm just gonna call him muscular. Running through the forest sniffing out Deku from I'll see some blood that was in the USJ. Gonna be chasing it or going through the forest. But while running, Deku would smell of a demon. And Kaminari would hear it and Nosuke would feel it in the air. Pretty much. Or sense it. So Kaminari would dash off the other way. But he would hear that Deku it's charging towards Deku's direction. And Nosuke thinks it would be a strong opponent. So yeah. Muscular get there right in front of Deku, swinging his hand down. Since Muscular can't talk, it's not like a no move. He would be like, Are you the demon Brax? Somebody sent me here to kill you. And all that. So I'll finish you quickly. Or I can go roam and kill more people and devour them. Swinging his fist down. Which Deku would pull out his real blade and he would cut his fingers off where he's punching. Backing up, getting ready. Of course, Muscular's fingers would grow back with muscle coming over them and it's completely back. So, yeah. Now he's throwing barrages of punches with Deku cutting his fist apart, but it's regenerating really fast. So yeah, but this would just be happening and all that. Deku would be cutting his muscles apart. The problem is he can't land a good cut on his neck to kill him instantly since the muscles are sort of stopping him. He would cut through the muscle and touch and like cut part of his little part of his neck a little bit but he can't go any farther than that and instantly after he does that muscles would appear and his sword would be stuck in there so he has to rip it out so yeah muscular has protected his neck quite a bit since he knows if he swipes swipe he swipes his neck off he would insta kill him pretty much. Or he'd be dead. So yeah. He has also thickened the muscles that parts of his limbs, like his where his arm ends and where his leg ends, where he can't just cut part his limbs and wait till they grow back and he can chop away at his head. So yeah. But Deku has advantage over him. First off, his blade can do the more damage to cut into him. Second off, his speed would win. His Demon Slayer abilities or techniques or sword styles would give him an upper edge against him. So yeah, right now he's focusing on his speed since that's the only thing that's keeping him alive or stopping him from getting punched. So yeah. We know Muscular didn't really have fast punches, if you remember. I just remember that, how he like one-punched 
Deku since he thought Deku was weak. So I assume that his punches are not really fast or this powerful. So, yeah. But I, of course, increased the speed of his punches since he is a demon, so that's why Deku is still able to dodge still. But yeah. But he be doing this until um two swords from be behind musculars would appear try and chop away at his neck but this sword would tear off his muscles instead of cutting through it like a clean cut because a nosuke sword can tear into a human skin and rip them apart so that's what he's kind of doing and all that. So he'll rip away the muscles, which Deck you'd see and try to chop up his neck. But since he was caught off guard from the swords, he didn't have enough time to get them. But he would be left off guard, being punched, which he would quickly block with the sword to reduce the damage and how far he's going to be flinged, which he would land back on the rock with his hand bleeding from how hard he has to grip his sword where it doesn't just knock his hand back and how and all that so yeah but Inosuke Inosuke can't land an actual cut wind on him he's just tearing away at his muscles and all that tearing away at his muscles it still helps and Deku would tell Nosuke that I keep doing that towards his neck. And if I'm fast enough, I can cut his head off. Which they would be doing this for a while. Getting beaten up. But this is when Kaminari jumps in. Using his best skills to distract his fist, pretty much. And all that. But no matter what, Deku cannot seem to cut his head off. So what he does is like he pushes back Kaminari and goes back there and lets Inosuke tear away at him and he tells him, tells this to Kaminari that your, your other technique or sword style or form is the fastest, faster than my attacks. So I need you to use it as soon as we cut away at cut away his muscles. To go over there and cut his head off. Which Commander is like, no no no, you don't put this pressure on me. I can't do it. So of course he says that there's no way to take him down unless you do it. Jumping back in the battle. And what he's doing is that like the first time he was cutting away at his hands what he's doing while Nosuke is tearing away his muscles up his arm but lets him cut them off and right now Kaminari's in the background charging up his attack and he activated as soon as the muscle got tore away flashing up there and cutting his head off but it's right before the head got completely cut off if muscles would stop it from the back from completely coming off which Deck, which Deck would see and what he would do is whenever Nosuke's sword is still in the swinging form he would push his sword backwards with his hands that would finish the job on severing the head he would win a few broken bones but they can survive and they would be put in the hospital for the fight between All Might and All For One. But what they see in the background is a man known a demon next to All For One. This demon is known as Muzon, which people would see him and go to attack him thinking that he's like a villain. But he would take off his shirt, or his shirt would rip open, 
revealing sort of tentacles, which you swing around, which would cut people in half with a swift movement. And this event would go down with this dude in the background, this demon, completely destroying them. Destroying all the heroes with a casualty toll of 100 whenever he ran through the forest or ran through the city, taking down heroes with no problem. Oh my god. Birds. But yeah, he pretty much destroyed a whole bunch of heroes. This is where I ended because these birds are annoying me. Goodbye.